So Matt, how was the M&M judging experience? Yeah, so I, I loved it. I mean, it was uh, amazing to see papers all corners of the globe, uh, really high quality. I mean, a couple of the categories as judges, we were just thinking how we're going to possibly decide between, uh, between these. Um, so no, I mean, a great experience. And were there any campaigns or papers that stuck out for you that you thought, wow, that is a fantastic idea or that is a brilliant concept? Was there anything there that you thought, yes, amazing? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, there were a few, I mean, a few papers uh, sort, of, sort of sprung to mind. So the, the Whiskers campa campaign I loved. So they had this insight that no one loves an Amazon box like, a, like your cat. <laughs> Um, so it kind of turned Amazon boxes into kind of a Whiskers, Whiskers advertising, so an extraordinarily novel uh, media that kind of stayed in people's houses for, for, and transformed into kind of cats, uh, camps for them to play in. So I thought that was an amazing uh, campaign. Um, I loved the Empty Tables campaign um, uh, from, uh, from Budapest, Budapest Pride, um, kind of in response to kind of homophobic laws that had, uh, that had been put in place in Hungary. Uh, kind of very uh, kind of sort of poignant. So um, leaving kind of empty tables in restaurants as reminders of um, uh, kind of gay couples who um, uh, who you know were uh, you know staying at home because of the kind of the oppressive new laws. Uh, it, you know, really poignant campaign, and all for the cost. They said of forty-two candles, the candles in the middle, which was kind of a wonderful uh, kind of sort of phrase as well. Um, and then, you know, the Adidas campaign, Liquid Billboards, I think was a highlight for uh, many of the judges, uh, both because of the cultural context in UAE where it, uh, where it appeared, promoting women's swimwear, um, but also kind of the media innovation of turning, uh, uh, turning billboards into, into swimming pools was a kind, of a, kind of a mix of experience with Out of Home that we hadn't really seen before. Yeah, I mean, they are all three of those fantastic campaigns as well. And were there any trends or insights you saw in the media, in the pieces that you saw? Was there anything that kind of flowed through? I mean, we obviously saw Cause was a, a huge category and there was a lot of amazing work and it was a difficult one to judge that. But were there yeah. kind of any types of media execution that you saw? I mean, you mentioned experiential and out of home mixed together, which is quite unusual. Was there anything else in that kind of vein? Um, I mean, I think the, you know, I think, as you said, cause was, a, you know, and I think that is something that kind of over the last few years we have seen kind of sort of rise to the top of a lot of uh, kind of a lot of awards. But I think a lot of the, uh, it wasn't just confined to the cause category. So a lot of the papers that did very well in that also, uh, also appeared in kind of other categories um, as well. So it wasn't just confined to charities or bespoke CSR campaigns. You saw cause related marketing. Um, actually, you know, kind of driving, uh, driving sales um, as well. So I think that idea of kind of purpose going right to the heart of commerce uh, was something that feels like and feels like an evolution. I think. Brilliant. And in terms of the experience itself, what do you think you got out of today's session? Well, it was so. Uh, you know, I mean, meeting people is always nice to kind of sort of sit down and have uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, sort of share opinions with. Uh, with other people. So I think it was, you know, kind of reading so many papers, so all the ones that kind of won that will, uh, uh, that will be revealed, um, but also the ones that didn't, wa didn't win as well that you, can, you wouldn't necessarily always read if you weren't a judge. It just sort of reminds you of just the sheer, uh, you know, kind of standards of thinking that's out there around the world, uh, the diversity of thinking as well, and obviously this being kind of a global awards, you see so many uh, so many different types of campaigns, so many different cultural contexts they appear in that they reference. Um, so it was just it was it was really eye-opening, and it was a fantastic experience.